Welcome back to the damn bar for another Big B beer review. All right. This is pretty cool. I've heard about it. I've seen it. And I actually finally found one. Because all I could ever find as far as the Budweiser ones were the Bud Light Chiladas. And I actually finally found the actual Budweiser Chiladas. With the Clamato Juice. La Original. Budweiser Chilada. Cerveza con sabores naturales y jugo de vegetal para dar cola. Or lager with natural flavors and vegetable juice for color. 5% ABV. From the Big Evil Beer Empire, AB and Bev, and leave in Belgium. But this, I'm sure, is actually made in St. Louis, Missouri. It's just owned by the Belgian and the Brazilians and all that. All right, yep, Anheuser-Busch, St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, 25 fluid ounces. So big it won't fit my little can crusher on the side of the bar that I installed a few weeks ago. <laughs> All right, I do love chiladas. And uh, I never had the Budweiser chilada. <clears throat> Back in the day when I was younger and, and, and more broke, I used to just make my own uh, chiladas, basically. And I was just using Bush, just taking Bush beer and mixing chilada into it. The actual, or I'm sorry, clamato juice. And it's got to be clamato juice. V8 juice ain't the same. It'll, it'll be okay, but that clamato juice really, really, really was good. And it was, you, you can add as much as, or a little that you want. And it was, I liked it. I liked it a lot. They got it right here in a can, keeping it at 5%. So they just got the right balance. So, <clears throat> nothing to it but to do it. <clears throat> I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna shake it up. Obviously, it even has a picture here that says "Do not shake." Ino agitate, or, or yeah, agiti, agiti. Okay, enough of that. I'm just gonna give it a little spin. You know, a nice count, a little slight spin because it was already laying on its side. So here we go. That's my little yappers. <laughs> and the boy dog will go running out of there so fast and just slams right into that thing, that, that doggy door so hard sometimes. That's where he's gonna rip it off the right off the door. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> and she's barking at absolutely nothing. I already know it. She's barking at nothing and he just comes a running full speed ahead. Wow, real fizzy, real fizzy. Oh, I forgot to spray the glass. Oh yeah, lots of, there's lots of floaters in there. I forgot to spray my glass with the, the food sanitizer. Star sand, but dang, that doesn't look bad. No head at all, whatsoever. And uh, I could smell the Clamato and, oh yeah. It smells just like clamato juice. I don't really smell much beer. I mean, it smells good in the can. Wow. Take a look. Alrighty. And in previous episodes, I mentioned when I found this one, I found the Picante, because this is the original. And I also got the spicy one that'll be in the future. So make sure y'all stay tuned. All right. Look at that. Oh, look at her. Isn't that, see, he already came back inside. She was yapping for nothing. And yeah, I know I need to get my back porch fixed. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that activity in there. Very cool. Lots of stuff in there. Tomatoey goodness. Alright, obviously I'm just going to go by the shade of, you know, how dark it is. 
Hmm, it's actually pretty dark. Let's see. A 22. All right, if y'all have yourselves a chilada, crack it open. Let's get to drinking. All right, here we go. Salud. That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Man. Wow. The tomatoey goodness, I can taste it. It's tomato. But it's kind of got like a, it gives off like kind of a tomatoey sweetness. Nice and crisp. It's really, really crisp, you know. Man. Man. Yeah, that's refreshing. I, that's dangerous good. I like that. That is really good. <laughs> I mean, mm, I feel like eating some enchiladas. Tamales. That'd be a good pair with that. Oh, man. That's good. That's good. You, the beer is there, too. But it's, it's like a nice malty backbone, in the, and it just all blends together well. Because, you know, Budweiser, it's a adjunct lager, but normally they use a rice. I don't think they use a corn. I'm sure they probably do. But I know they use rice. Mm, that is, it's crisp, it's refreshing. <sighs> Lighter in the body than I was expecting. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say about medium, medium light in the body. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. <clears throat> Not for these grades that they get online on Beer Advocate. This gets a dismal 54 out of 100 with an average rating of 2.16. And that's out of 365 ratings. 54. Out of a hundred, that's awful. It even says it on there. It says awful. And they, they rated them a 3.5% Modelo way higher than that. Wow. On a tap with over 6.3 thousand reviews, and he gets a 2.66. <clears throat> that's not very good either. Yeah, it's not very good either. I mean, obviously, on, on tap, it goes from zero to five. But uh, as you know, what I've, I've probably preached every time about untapped, if it's, the, to me, the real middle mark is at 3.5. Because I've never seen anything below a one, ever. And almost all beers, the majority of beers that I've ever done on this channel have been in the three range. It's always three something on untapped. Three, three, and if it's in the fours, then you know it's really going to be good. And if it's below three, that's, that, then you think it's supposed to be garbage. You know, and if it's like 3.5 is that what I call the middle mark because almost everything is 3%. So that's why I call that the middle mark. 2.6 is a dismal grade. 2.66 on untapped. Wow. For me, <clears throat> would I buy it again? Absolutely. I'll put the price up here because... Price I found online was better than the price that I got at the Circle K. It was like four dollars for this sucker, and online it's showing it being at, I think online that saw it for two something two ninety eight for this same exact can. But damn Circle K, you ripping people off. It was like three ninety eight, a dollar more at the Circle K. And after taxes, it was like four bucks. So I don't know. I I still get it again, for sure. I mean, this ain't bad at all. Um, definitely has. A nice flavor and then with that crispness to where memory bells i think this is going to get four out of five i'm actually impressed with it um yeah i can't wait to try the spicy one craveability this is getting a nine out of ten i love clamato juice that's why probably you know if you don't like clamato juice you don't like tomatoes 
And this ain't going to be for you, obviously. If you like tomatoes and you like chiladas already, then try it if you have it. And if you don't like it, tell me why in the comments below. Man, it has a little picture of a lime on there as well with the tomatoes. And I kind of get there's a zestiness there. But it's not like the lime flavor I'm getting because the tomato is the most the, the most where the flavor is at. And a little bit of that maltiness. But there's like a nice, it adds with that zing in the end. A nice crisp bite. I like that. So, Big B, beer review grade. I'm surprised by this. this is, I think regular Budweiser only gave like a C. And this is really good. Look at this sucker, an A minus. An A minus. Should just be a solid A, but you know, I'm gonna stick with an A minus. I mean, because it is still just chalada, man. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. This is just a good beer. It's definitely in the A range for me, so. Now, I gotta put this up against the Modelo. I'm gonna do taste challenge between those. Um, I believe I already did the Bud Light one versus Modelo. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure, positive. Uh, either way, I will definitely be putting it up against the Modelo Chilada in a blind taste challenge at some point in the future. So, if y'all have had this Budweiser Chilada before, let me know in the comments below. Let me know which one is your favorite Chilada. Do you like to just make your own like I was talking about earlier? Or is there the Modelo one? Do you prefer the Modelo one or the Bud Light one? Or maybe the one I'm going to be trying later on, the, uh, the Picante, the spicy one. So, let me know. And I'd like to hear about it. I hope you all enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed drinking it. If so, hit that like button. Feed the algorithm. It helps out the channel a lot. Leave some comments below. And make sure you don't miss out on my upcoming reviews and taste challenges. Hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you anything, I promise. And it, ooh, excuse me, and it helps out the channel big time. Ooh, yeah. Nice. Anyways, I hope to see you all here at the damn bar for the next one. Until next time. Salute and happy days.